And now, the Fox 24 News Now Spotlight Music Series. And I wish I knew, I wish I met her a long time ago. But now we're crossing paths in this old bar through this cloud of smoke. I need to know what she needs so I could be the one to fill a cup up with something. What she's sipping on. He hails from Hopewell, Virginia, once home to a dynamite factory. He is pretty dynamite himself. But let's welcome singer-songwriter Randall Fowler on this week's Spotlight Music Series. Great to have you. Hey there. Hey. That's pretty cool. Okay. Sure. Ho well, a lot of people do think you're dynamite. <laughs> Hopewell, Virginia, this is whence you came. Uh, so, so tell us a little bit about growing up in Hopewell before you came to South Carolina. Uh, great family, loving uh, area down there. Uh, Got, that's where I got my country roots from. Uh, family split up, we come to Charleston, uh, and uh, it's been the best place that a guy could have ever uh, relocated to. And in a great community, great too. Community. You settled in Goose Creek. Goose Creek, South Carolina. But, uh, you, but you've been all over, and, and your music has taken you all over. Right. So when did you first get the bug? You said that it, Virginia had a lot of influence in yeah. you as a musician, but oh, yeah. when was the bug really striking you to start performing, singing, never, songwriting? Never, never did it cross my mind I would be performing at a, a larger scale than and where I'm at right now. You, you grow up and you find out you have a voice and you just want to sing and you want to be happy and you can change the vibe and the emotion of the people around you. And, yeah. uh, that, that was pretty cool, but never did I ever think I would be singing to the masses or you know, having a crowd of folks coming out buying tickets. When to was my the show. first performance that you ever gave? Oh wow, I think it was Halloween with my band Ellen Drive. Uh, I picked up a band with some guys I was working with in Somerville at the Kickin' Chicken and <gasps> they had some connections up the road yeah. at the Ice House. You at guys the, Ice with the Ice House. house in Somerville. Yeah. Shout out to Woody. That's right, very for giving good. The, <laughs> for giving us that opportunity because that really opened up some doors. Uh, we dressed up as the A-Team. That was pretty fun. <laughs> so which one were you? I was Mr. T. Of course you were Mr. T. <laughs> I pity the fool. So you've now been traveling back and forth to Nashville. You've toured. You've gone around. Yeah. Where, where have you toured? I've had the opportunity. Toured? So I've had the opportunity to go everywhere around this region and play music. Um, this past you know, few years, you know, it's been wild. Uh, Traveling to Nashville, trying to work on my craft is what I was doing. I was trying to work more of, uh, well, what can I do in this downtime, so to speak? And I was writing a lot of songs, met a lot of cool guys in Nashville that really took to my vocals, mm -hmm. and they want to write and create. And uh, been traveling, making music with a with a great studio in Nashville, and yeah. uh, really honing in on who we are uh, and what I want to be. Um, and, and this has now created this new path for you because you're Absolutely. actually going to be leaving us yeah. here in Charleston and oh, you're yeah. going to be living in Nashville permanently. Uh, super exciting. It's the first time I've uprooted my family. Now I have my wife and I have been together 18 years and we have an eight month old daughter named Wonder. Daveney. Beautiful. Oh, it's so great. And, uh, you've, got a, you've got a lot to sing about. It's great. Yeah. Great. So a lot of, I'm a very emotional guy. I really love my family. Uh, it's exciting yeah. to take that leap. And, uh, I can see it. I can yeah. see it in your eyes. <laughs> <not gonna> play, <laughs> but it's very exciting. A lot of love in this area. I'm going to take my lessons from Barbara Walters. No, I'm just kidding. You know, it, it really is so, it's it so touching tequila. to see how, how much it means to you. And it comes through in your music. You've just released this new song, too, Summertime and Country. Summertime and Country. Uh, now that I'm all over here uh, trying to hold back a, a big old raindrop. Speaking of <laughs> rain, we've had a lot of rain around here, we have. here recently, which is a good Raining thing. Raining right over here now. under this lid. Hey, stop it. <laughs> so, uh, summertime in country, man. As the rain falls, uh, it's a song. It's a cool song about a guy chasing a memory, <laughs> chasing a memory okay. through concerts, um, trying to find that feeling and relive those moments with that uh, special someone and yeah. maybe he finds her we'll find out you'll have to check it out Absolutely. right here uh, as we play it for you thank you for having me today yeah. no always, I'm so glad that you're always here always a blessing to represent you're going to be community. performing Summertime in Country <laughs> after the break we can't wait we're going to get this guy a tissue I'm a sucker, I'm a sucker. <laughs> we'll be back after this